Imagine a world where opulence reigned supreme, where power struggles were dressed in the finest silks, and set against a backdrop of dazzling excess. In 1981, television screens welcomed a series that would forever redefine drama, Dynasty. From the very first frame, it cast a spell that ensnared the audience in a whirlwind of wealth, ambition, and betrayal. Do you remember the thrill of your first encounter with the Carringtons and the Colbys? The anticipation of each episode, wondering which alliances would crumble and which secrets would be unveiled. Perhaps it was the iconic catfights between Alexis and Crystal, their perfectly coiffed hair and piercing gazes masking the tumultuous rivalry that lay beneath. Or maybe it was the way the show painted a world where excess knew no bounds, where every party was a feast for the senses and every emotion was magnified by the opulent surroundings. As you reminisce about those memorable moments, let's peel back the layers and dive into some intriguing behind-the-scenes tales. The show that seemed to drip with luxury was not without its own quirks and fascinating facts. From unexpected casting decisions to the real-life inspirations behind the characters, there's a treasure trove of details that might just surprise you. So, grab your finest glass of champagne and prepare to journey back into the glitzy universe of Dynasty. We're about to unearth some random gems about the show that will leave you in awe of the world that captured hearts around the globe. It's around the globe. Departures and dramas, unraveling the behind-the-scenes turmoil of 1,981 Seconds Dynasty and the glitzy realm of 1,981 Seconds Dynasty. Where opulence and treachery reigned supreme, the off-screen intrigue often rivaled the on-screen drama. Amidst the sprawling Carrington mansion and the high-stakes business dealings, a storm of backstage disputes and abrupt exits rocked the foundation of the series. Notably, the departures of Joan Collins and Michael Nader, as well as the enigmatic balcony tumble they shared, provided an unexpected twist that echoed the show's own penchant for jaw-dropping revelations. Long before cancel culture entered the lexicon, the series met its own demise, but not without adding a final flourish of chaos. As the show's popularity waned, Joan Collins, the iconic Alexis Moral Carrington, and Michael Nader, who portrayed the enigmatic Dex Dexter, chose to bid farewell. The duo's exit was as dramatic as any scene the show could muster. The infamous balcony tumble that shocked viewers was not just a scripted spectacle, but an unanticipated embodiment of behind-the-scenes friction. Collins and Nader, both preparing for their exits, found themselves grappling with the show's producers over creative control and contract terms. The result was a jaw-dropping fall from the height of the Carrington Mansion one that echoed the tumultuous nature of their real-world departure negotiations. Their on-screen plunge mirrored the plummeting ratings and the waning enthusiasm that led to Dynasty's eventual cancellation. While the series had once epitomized opulent escapism, it was now plagued by real-world tensions, showcasing that even the most glamorous facades can crumble under the weight of backstage conflicts. As we revisit the legacy of Dynasty, it's a reminder that the sparkles and glamour on screen often mask the sparks and tensions behind the scenes. The dazzling world of power struggles and luxurious lifestyles woven into the fabric of the show was, at times, overshadowed by the complexities of contract disputes and creative control battles. So, whether we remember Alexis Moral Carrington Colby Dexter Rowan by her full, extravagant name, or ponder the dramatic tumble that ended an era, let us not forget that the glitz and glamour of Dynasty held within it a narrative of its own, one of intrigue, rivalry, and the very human struggles that added an extra layer of fascination to the unforgettable saga. 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 When names become weapons, the verbal duels of Dynasty's Alexis Colby in the cutthroat world of 1,981 Seconds Dynasty, where power and prestige intertwine, every weapon, even a mispronounced name, is fair game. The formidable Alexis Colby, portrayed with steely elegance by Joan Collins, mastered the art of linguistic warfare. One of her signature tactics was deliberately mangling the names of her adversaries, an eloquent yet venomous way of asserting her dominance. Alexis, a woman whose ambitions were as grand as her wardrobe, sought to discredit her rival, Sable Colby. With calculated finesse, she referred to her as Sybil, a deliberate mispronunciation that underscored her disdain. This linguistic jab was more than a mere slip of the tongue. It was a weaponized reminder of Sable's perceived fragility. But Alexis didn't stop there. Her linguistic prowess extended to those closest to her, her verbal daggers carefully aimed. 
The elegant Crystal Carrington was often addressed as Kristen, a sly move that subtly undermined her authenticity. Even the innocent Sammy Joe fell victim, transformed into Sammy Jean and Alexis' poisoned lexicon. And her sister Caress, with whom Alexis shared a complex history, was provocatively dubbed Cassie, a name dripping with condescension. Yet, amidst the linguistic sparring, a glimpse into the casting of Alexis emerges. In a 2002 interview on Larry King Live, Joan Collins revealed that Jessica Walter was a top contender for the role before Collins claimed it as her own. The tantalizing prospect of Walter's prowess channeling Alexis adds layers to the dynasty that might have been. As Dynasty redefined the landscape of television drama, another poignant note emerges from its legacy. The show marked the swan song of Hollywood icon Rock Hudson. Hudson, portraying himself, shared a memorable scene with his longtime friend Doris Day on the premiere of Doris Day's Best Friends. Tragically, Hudson's death from AIDS on October 2, 1985 sparked a minor Hollywood panic about the virus transmission, with concerns even extending to Linda Evans' health due to an on-screen kiss. In the grand tapestry of Dynasty, where power, passion, and intrigue interweave, the mispronounced names wielded by Alexis stand as poignant symbols of her cunning manipulation. Each utterance was a calculated move, a verbal parry in the battle for supremacy. And as the show's impact reverberates through time, these linguistic maneuvers remain indelible artifacts of television history. Television history. Television. The dynasty phenomenon, glamour, outrageous storylines, and the legacy of a TV icon in the glitzy realm of 1980s primetime soap operas, where larger-than-life characters reigned and opulence knew no bounds. Dynasty emerged as a beacon of glamour and audacity, rivaled only by its Texan counterpart, Dallas. Debuting in 1981, the show marked the second-to-last grand chapter of a decade defined by melodramatic narratives and high-stakes intrigue. Unlike its contemporaries, Dynasty dared to traverse the territory of the preposterous, crafting storylines that often defied belief. As oil barons and fashion moguls clashed in a symphony of opulent feuds, the show ignited the screen with tales of power struggles and betrayals that stretched the bounds of plausibility. From oil rig explosions to art heists, the show's audacious storytelling kept audiences on the edge of their seats, week after week. In the midst of the glittering chaos, one casting decision stood out as a testament to the pursuit of perfection. Michael Nader's portrayal of the enigmatic Dex Dexter remains an iconic facet of Dynasty. What's lesser known is that Nader's triumph was no small feat. Battling against a pool of 400 actors, he emerged victorious, capturing the essence of Dex's charisma and complexity. His performance added another layer of intrigue to the show's already intricate web of relationships and power dynamics. Behind the scenes, costume designer Nolan Miller wove his magic, adorning the characters with a staggering array of outfits. Over the series run, Miller meticulously curated approximately 3,000 costumes, ensuring that no character would be caught wearing the same ensemble twice. A testament to both his creativity and the show's dedication to visual opulence, Miller's weekly wardrobe budget of $35,000 underscores the lengths to which Dynasty went to maintain its glossy allure. In retrospect, Dynasty remains a jewel in the crown of 80 seconds television, a dazzling mosaic of luxury and excess that captured the spirit of an era defined by its insatiable hunger for drama and spectacle. With its outrageous storylines, charismatic characters, and unapologetic display of wealth, the show cemented its place in pop culture history, a testament to an age when the small screen became a canvas for unabashed indulgence. So, as we reflect on the legacy of Dynasty, let us remember the glittering excess and audacious narratives that defined an era. In a television landscape forever changed by the allure of power and wealth, Dynasty remains an indelible chapter, a saga of silk and scheming that will forever captivate our imagination. Ishin, Ishin. Heather Locklear's dynamic path on Dynasty in the annals of television history. Few shows have ignited the imagination like Dynasty. The opulent 1981 drama that captivated audiences with its blend of intrigue, wealth, and power struggles. While the show's allure was undeniably ensemble-driven, one figure stood as its constant, the bedrock of its narrative whirlwind, John Forsyth. A paragon of consistency, Forsyth's presence radiated through all 220 episodes, a feat that remains unparalleled in the annals of TV history. 
Yet, Dynasty was not immune to the vagaries of Hollywood's shifting currents. Enter Heather Locklear, a luminous talent whose journey on the show mirrored the drama's own twists. Season 2 saw Locklear as a regular, a role that culminated in an unexpected departure as she ventured into the embrace of T.J. Hooker. Fate, however, couldn't keep her away from the glittering world of Dynasty. Locklear's star power proved too magnetic, prompting a return as a full-time regular in Season 6, expertly reuniting with the series' mastermind, Aaron Spelling. As the show's creators contemplated the casting of Lady Ashley Mitchell, a trio of iconic actresses floated through consideration, Raquel Welch, Angie Dickinson, and Ann Archer. This tantalizing glimpse into what could have been offers a glimpse of the alternate reality where Dynasty assumed different forms, each actress bringing her own indelible imprint to the role. Dynasty exudes a legacy of drama both on and off screen, a microcosm of the ever-shifting tides of showbiz. Its tapestry interwoven with talent, intrigue, and ambition, the show continues to resonate as a vivid testament to the relentless pursuit of power and a story where the only constant was change. Heather Locklear's dynamic trajectory, Forsyth's steadfast presence, and the hypothetical casting shuffle underscored the dramatic essence of Dynasty. With its power struggles and behind-the-scenes tales, the show remains a hallmark of 1980s television, its threads woven into the fabric of entertainment history. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Dynasty, it's time for us to embrace the bittersweet feeling of nostalgia. Like the glistening crystals that adorn the show's opulent sets, the memories we've woven with the 1981 TV series sparkle in the tapestry of our lives. From the dazzling power struggles to the exquisite fashion that transcended time, Dynasty wasn't just a show, it was a lifestyle, an era, a testament to the ever-turning wheels of ambition and desire. As you reflect on your personal journey through the Carrington and Colby dynasties, take a moment to rediscover the echoes of your own aspirations and ambitions in the characters that once graced your screens. Perhaps you saw a glimmer of your own determination in the fiery fallen, or maybe you found solace in Crystal's unwavering grace amidst the storm. Dynasty wasn't merely a show, it was a mirror reflecting our own desires, insecurities, and triumphs. Your thoughts and memories of Dynasty are as precious as the most treasured jewels, and sharing them is like unlocking a vault of shared experiences. So, whether you're discussing the legendary catfights, the dramatic cliffhangers, or the iconic Alexis one-liners, let your voice join the chorus of fans who have journeyed through the labyrinth of power, love, and intrigue. Thank you for joining us on this expedition through the glamorous maze of Dynasty. Your time and interest have breathed life into the tales of the Carringtons and Colbys once more. As we stand at the crossroads of nostalgia and the present, remember that the echoes of Dynasty will forever ripple through the river of pop culture, reminding us that even in the most extravagant of worlds, the essence of humanity remains constant. Share your treasured memories, let your voice be heard, and keep the spirit of Dynasty alive. Until we meet again, keep the champagne on ice and the shoulder pads ready, for the echoes of power and passion continue to resonate within us all. Warmest wishes and reminiscences, your name is, your name is.